All right, folks. So, last week, I made this 93-pot NFT system. And it's the first year I'm using NFT. I'm using 4-inch PVC. Some joiners here, everything. I've just sort of got everything going last night. I haven't done my fertilizer or anything. Um, it's pretty simple. It's straightforward cradle for everything. Um, but I posted these pictures up on one of the chili groups on Facebook and I got a fair number of requests from people to explain how to build the cradle, how to do all of this. So I do have another one of these to make. So as such, I thought, well, we're going to start a video series on how to make all this stuff. Okay, so Hydroponics 101, a uh, little background. This is, this will be my third season uh, growing with hydroponics. And I have found with every year, it gets bigger, 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 bigger. If you're getting into it, I would suggest you start small. Uh, I started with basically <coughs> three buckets with uh, ball get throughs, little hose, drips, 18 net pots, pump, bit of fertilizer. And I grew green and red peppers. And I was so impressed with that, that next year I went huge. Uh, and this year, of course, I'm going nuclear. I'd suggest starting off small, get an idea of how you do it, understand the, the benefits and negatives. Um, setup costs can be high, especially, and, and yearly costs, things like fertilizer and stuff. Uh, electrical, all of that sort of jazz. It, it can get, you can get completely engulfed, lighting, everything else. So start off small. So this is, oh, <laughs> if you're going to get into hydroponics, when you tell your friends you're starting to grow in hydroponics, you'll get a lot of this. And this. You're all my special little children. We grow copious amounts of ganja, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and that. Excellent! Now, just to declare to the popo, I'm growing hot peppers. I'm not growing the other stuff. Certainly you can grow that. That's your choice. It's legal in some places. I don't do that. Anyways, so we're going to build one of these. Now, first thing, why is it this height? Now, I'm in my basement, which is a bit cold, so I certainly wouldn't want these on the floor. Could this be higher? Yes. But I wanted to make it as low as possible because I've got two 400 metal halide lamps going in here. They generate a lot of heat. They cannot be too close to the plants. You'll burn them. So what defined my height? And this is the most important thing. What defined my height was my bucket. So this is just a typical Rubbermaid bucket you pick up at home, desk bar, you know, Rona, you know, Rona, whatever. Uh, you know, 15 bucks, comes with a lid, but you want the lid. Uh, so this is gonna act as my reservoir. So I need to make sure that this, the, the cradle, was high enough to go over top of this with a lid on, to give me a little wiggle room for my hoses to come in. So that really set up my height. So if we measure this, we're looking at 15 and a half inches. Now, I'm using four inch PVC tubes. That means 15 and a half plus four inches. We're at 19 and a half, right? We also have to equate four cross beams that the PVC is going to sit on, because I still want to be able to slide them in, which was, of course, these are two by four, so inch and a half. So what I decided on was 22 and a half inch legs. So, two by fours. Now, what I've done is, I've already pre-cut all my wood. Um, you know, you just need a chop saw, decent chop saw, 
And, and basically materials are all 2x4s, 2x3s, and some 8-foot, uh, 1x3s. I'm going to do a material list at the end. So let's just focus on building. So, I worked out my height from my legs to be 22 and a half inches. So, I've got four of those. Now, I need supports, 45s. I need them that way, this way. Four legs, two supports at each. So I have took some two by threes. I cut them at 15 inch lengths, and I cut them at 35. <laughs> Those are going to be my legs. Now, the distance, the depth of it. That's a little trickier to figure out. Um, because of the end caps I used, I basically, and this was absolutely pure luck, <clears throat> I decided to use uh, two by four as spaces in between each of my PVC tubes. It gave me a bit of space so that the planks had some room across the gaps, um, which is what, you know, it's important that planks have a bit of room. But these are three and a half inch net plus, by the way. Now, it just so happened that it worked out perfectly, <coughs> excuse me, for the four inch PVC T's that I used at the end. It lined up just about perfect. Uh, I did have some other ends, but I'll get in, into that in the next video. So, I've got six tubes. I need my splitters. That means I need five on each end, so I made ten. Now, the height of these, or the length, I cut from two by four, is actually uh, four and two eighths. Okay? One quarter. Not even. Yeah, that would be one quarter, wouldn't it? <laughs> Actually, it's two sixteenths. Or one eighth. Now, the reason I cut them that high is I want to make sure that I can slide my tubes in, I can slide them out, so they're going to sit in there, and I'll make basically make a bridge. The other thing I needed was braces that tubes are going to sit on with these in between like that so when you do the math inside dimension is 43 inches so I need two of those one for each end this is a center support piece okay goes across there between my one by threes, and that's it. For the first step, well, let's talk about tools, okay? First off, I'm using number eight screws, basically constru uh, construction screws, doesn't matter if it's gold or brown or whatever color you want. You're gonna need one and a quarters, and you're gonna need two and a half. You're gonna need some construction glue. Um, I like the LePage PO Premium 3X, don't like the 5x and stuff, it dries too fast, and basically, I'm a wimp. My hands are just, it's just brutal to get out. You're going to need a decent cordless drill. Make sure you got at least an 18 volt, because when it comes to cutting the holes for the PVC and the hole cutter, you need a good drill, make sure you got two batteries. I just dropped 127 bucks on another battery. They rip you off. It's like at the drive through they fuck you with the refill. Now, you need a T-square, you need a pen, keep some toilet paper handy around so that you can wipe off any excess glue. Uh, that's about it. Oh, and of course, the most important thing when you're doing building, yeah. make sure you've got your favorite beverage because, well, why else would you not have this while you're building? So, first step. A little clean out here. I don't need these right away. I'm going to need, basically what we're going to do is we're going to build the end trusses. Two end trusses. 
Yes, I need four of those. Forty fives. Don't need that. I need my tough ones. That's about it. Real super simple. Now Do I put my cross member? Well, that's easy. I got those little four and blocks. <clears throat> well, they're going to sit on my cross piece. So, what was that saying? It's kind of sense. That's where you're going to put the bottom. Same here. speed up some of this video as I go along. No point you sitting here watching me screw as it's not a pawn. Alright. Now watch your glue usage. Don't use too much. You really don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, it spreads very quickly. Why you Kleenex paper around the toilet paper? Don't get this glue on your fingers. Um, it stains them, and it takes forever, basically, for the skin to die. Although the end result is beautiful, white clean hands or whatever your color happens to be. I guess if that was your color, now you wouldn't be. Now you would look like a very sick person. <laughs> have a very ugly, yucky, yellowy brown look. Right, now, here's my cross piece. So, all I'm going to do, show that in the room. Now, I always have a couple of clamps lying around. And I'm just going to. I always have a couple of clamps lying around uh, in case I need them. I've got some really long clamps upstairs, but I don't really need them for this. It doesn't have to be. And 45 degree trusses can do that. You don't need to pre-drill your holes with these number eights. So I'm just going to pop two screws in. Don't mind up. Yep. Alright. Okay. I'm going to put two in. Make sure you get these screws in. Let them flush. Because you're going to put four by three beans along. Oh, there we go. Now, eh, pretty obvious, isn't it? 